what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you will be notified when i upload a new video and if you are not already follow me on instagram and twitter at the hair life and the hair life official so i'm gonna show you guys how to go from this yellow blonde to this bombshell banging blonde you guys with these roots this is my first time doing this and it came out really really good so yeah we're gonna get right into this video okay guys so this was a um pre-made wig that i was testing out for my hair company if you guys don't know i do have a hair company the hair life official and yeah this is what it looks like this is 613 16 inches and it was a 13 by 6 um the ones that you guys will be getting will be a full frontal you'll have all of that parting space um instead of how this one looks in the inside but it will still be constructed very well with the combs the adjustable straps and all of that good stuff the hair is super super soft and you guys it's just amazing i cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on these black friday is coming up this week by the time you guys see this video and it's amazing so these are the products that i'm going to be using today i'm using this ion shampoo their color solutions um basically it is a purple shampoo to tone out any brassiness in your blonde so if you have shimmer lights that will work as well so i poured in my shampoo and i'm pouring in some water this was warm water it wasn't boiling hot or anything warm water and i did take a color whisk and i spread all that shampoo around make sure that it dissolved evenly in the water so that we didn't have any patches of purple shampoo on the hair I did spread that middle of the wig out so it can evenly distribute all over the hair. And all I'm gonna do is keep dipping the wig in and out of our little shampoo bath here, just like you're doing watercolor, nothing fancy. Um, I definitely want to try this out versus, you know, going and getting Wella toner or um, color because nine times out of 10, if you wear wigs, then you probably already have shimmer light -like shampoo on hand anyway. So this is a great way to quickly tone your blonde. You don't have to do too much water shampoo and you guys can see it is turning white blonde. I was so excited to do this, you guys. Like I said, it was my first time and it turned out great. So I did let it sit in a little bit. The um, ends took a little bit longer to um, tone, but I'm not even kidding you guys. It turned out really, really great. So you just want to leave that in there for a couple minutes and you don't want to overtone it. So keep your eyes on it. Don't let it sit for too long. So after it was done toning, I made sure I rinse it out really well with some warm water. Um, and obviously I didn't need to shampoo it because it was just sitting in shampoo, but I did not condition it until after I was done doing the root color. All right, you guys, this is the final look of the toning. You guys can see it definitely took all that yellow brassiness out. And I did go ahead and blow the lace area of the wig dry. And I'm going to take some got to be free spray and spray that all on the lace to protect it from the color. Um, I did end up getting two little spots of the lace with the color, but it was fine. Once I washed it out, it was completely fine. And I did take my blow dryer to dry the free spray down so we can move on to the color so i'm using ion brilliance i did grab their liquid color on accident but this is a 5a and it was a light ash brown um i feel like ash brown color would go best when you're doing this type of blonde instead of doing like a black color i think it's a little bit too harsh and i did mix that in with 20 volume developer and i'm using a edge brush to apply the color so you guys will see I'm using a very, very, very light hand with the color 
and I'm just I did not want too much um I didn't want too many roots so I went down about maybe a half an inch I'm just sectioning off horizontal sections and I'm just placing that color on the hair without getting it on the lace using a very 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 light hand you guys but yeah, that's all there was to it. I didn't record this entire process because my SD card ran out of space. But what you guys are seeing right now, I did this to the entire lace area. And then that first area, you guys can see where those tracks begin. I did do that little area as well. And I let that sit for about 20 minutes. It was no longer than 20 minutes. Um, so you guys see me right here. I'm going ahead and I'm doing the front of the rest of the hairline because I know that that would all process um, at the same time. And then once I finished on the first side that I started on, I went to the other side and did the exact same process. So that's all I did. Let it sit for 20 minutes. So this is what it looks like and you guys I, i'm not even gonna lie to you i was scared i'm like oh my god this is looking too dark and you guys can see that little piece of color that got on the lace but once i washed it out it did not stain it which was really good so this is what it looks like after i washed it out and guys i'm so sorry that i did not record myself rinsing it out i did flip my wig upside down so that the color didn't run on the actual hair so i held the pon the hair in like a ponytail while i was rinsing the color out so the color would just rinse out of the roots and not onto the hair i hope that makes sense um if you guys need a demonstration i will be happy to show you so yeah i just went ahead tweezed the hairline a little bit and i molded the hair down in this deep curve side part and i used my nairobi foam per usual and let that dry overnight and um, the next day i did curl it and everything but i didn't want this video to be too long so i didn't show all of that in the video let me know if you guys want to see how i curled this hair and i will definitely record that for you guys this week so after i got done curling it i just ran my fingers through it and this was the final look i was so happy with the outcome it turned out exactly how i wanted it you guys i was so excited about this so i definitely want to try this again longer and I definitely want to do this in a bob, but let me know if you guys like this. You guys, please make sure that you are following my business account, the Hair Life Official. The Black Friday sales that I'm having are epic, okay? So please, please, please make sure that you guys are following so you guys can get these great deals. The next video that you will see is me showing you guys my raw Indonesian hair, which will also be on a great sale. So make sure your notifications are on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys on my next one. Bye.